consider this scenario. Here you have a load impedance ZL at the end of a transmission line having characteristic impedance Z0. What is the input impedance to this system? Input impedance is the ratio of total voltage Vn to total current In seen at the input port. We have equations for total voltage and total current at a given location along a transmission line, which we can use as a starting place. If we plug in our definitions for gamma, we can restate these equations like this. The input impedance Zn is the ratio of total voltage to total current, so it looks like this. This can be simplified to this. Zn, the input impedance, equals Z0 times ZL plus JZ0 tangent beta L over Z0 plus JZL tangent beta L. The significance of the input impedance is that if you have a circuit like this, and you know the input impedance looking into this port, then everything to the right of this port can be replaced by lumped impedance without affecting the left-hand side of the circuit. So this lumped impedance will result in the same reflection as the original circuit where the load was at the end of the transmission line. Let's look at the input impedance equation in two special cases. First, what if the line is terminated with a short circuit? What if the load impedance is zero? In this case, Zn simplifies to Jz0 tangent beta L. This is a graph of tangent beta L with respect to beta L. Note that if L equals zero, if you're looking directly at the load, tangent beta L is zero and the input impedance is zero, as you would expect for a short circuit. But as the line gets longer, tangent beta L increases until here, where beta L is pi over two, which corresponds to a length L of lambda over four. Here, tangent beta L is infinite, and the impedance is infinite, which looks like an open circuit. So adding a quarter wavelength of line transformed a short circuit into an open circuit. The second case we'll look at is termination with an open circuit. Here, ZL goes to infinity, and ZN becomes negative JZ0 cotangent beta L. This is a graph of cotangent beta L with respect to beta L. Note that if L equals zero, cotangent beta L is infinite, and the infinite impedance is infinite, which is what you would expect for an open circuit. However, as the length of the transmission line increases, the cotangent of beta L decreases until here, where beta L is pi over two, which corresponds to L equal to a quarter wavelength. Here, the cotangent of beta L is zero, so the input impedance is zero, which looks like a short circuit. So in this case, adding a quarter wavelength of line transformed an open circuit into a short circuit. These two cases demonstrate that the length of the added line is extremely important. By adding just a quarter wavelength of line, you can transform a short all the way into an open, or an open into a short. 